and they are now incentivizing you as the buyer to come in and buy these houses. I've seen uh, incentives up to $25,000. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to Rapid City Real Estate News. We are in the first week of October. Crazy to say that, to be honest with you. It blows my mind that it's already October. But um, if you don't know me, my name is Christian Morrison. I am a local realtor here in the Rapid City Black Hills area. I do this Rapid City Real Estate News just to help everybody that is curious about real estate in the area, keep up to date on what's going on, what's actually happening, and not just uh, the talk around the town about what's happening. So <laughs> that's what it's for, basically. So um, I'm gonna jump straight into the numbers this week. And then I have um, a couple things to talk about on new construction specifically uh, that are pretty interesting that have happened in the last week or so. Um, but in the numbers, a couple of interesting numbers for today. Interest rates are up another qu quarter of a percent since last week. So they're at 7.06 right now. So interest rates are still up there. Uh, average days on the market is down slightly, believe it or not, to 23 from 25, I think. So a couple of days down on that. Now, here's four numbers that are interesting to me because these are the four numbers. Because uh, I was talking to someone yesterday who uh, sells a bunch of houses in uh, the Phoenix market in Arizona. And they were telling me that every single month right now and every single week, they're getting around three to 6,000 extra houses, which it's a giant area. So that'd probably be the equivalent of, I don't know, 30 to 60 houses here with the population difference um, extra per week and per month that are sitting on the market and not selling. So they're having houses stack, stack, stack. You know, he said six months ago, they only had around 3,000 houses on the market. And right now they have around 50,000 houses on the market. Um, so that area is, you know, seemingly going to go down in value pretty quickly if that continues to happen and stuff isn't selling. It was also the area that went up the fastest, uh, one of the fastest over the last couple of years. So here, uh, and everybody has these speculations that, you know, the whole market's crashing. Definitely possible. It probably will in certain areas. Here, there's a couple of these last four numbers are the reason I don't see that happening currently here. Um, 31 houses in the market. That is less than we've seen in the last few months. So less houses on the market, which is somewhat normal with the time of year, somewhat. Um, so some of that has to do with that, but quite a bit less houses on the market, 31. Um, you know, we've been in the 50s and 60s um, in the previous couple months. So 31 is really low. Five of those sold. So only five went under contract of the new houses on the market. 26 houses actually sold last week. So almost a wash there, actually a little bit negative um, for houses on the market versus houses sold. And 191 total active houses. So that's super low numbers for us still. I mean, I, I think I said last week that in 2019, so before the 2020-21 market boom or whatever you want to call it, um, we would have 500 houses on the market, four to 500 houses all the time. So we still only have 190 houses on the market. And last week we had over 200, we had like 210. So now we're we're not we're not stacking on top like they are in the Phoenix area. We're actually dropping now uh, with the amount of listings that we've had in the past um, few weeks and months. Now we're starting to go down again on houses on the market. So even with the interest rate going up, the houses on the market are still going down. And uh, I've had a lot of people tell me that not a lot, but a few people tell me, well, the top end of the market's going to be affected the most. You know, the, anything five hundred thousand plus, that stuff's not going to sell because interest rates are this high. To be honest, those are selling faster <laughs> almost in certain areas um, than the lower priced houses. So I don't think that's true either. Uh, there was a house that went on the market last week for I think 1.1 million and have multiple offers on it. So these interest rates obviously aren't scaring off everybody uh, or too many people at all, it doesn't seem like. Now let's get into something interesting that I've been seeing with new construction uh, with these builders out here that they are getting to the point where they're Maybe not desperate, but getting to the point where they really want to sell these houses and they are now incentivizing you as the buyer to come in and buy these houses. I've seen uh, incentives up to $25,000 in closing cost assistance, upgrades, whatever you want to choose in some of these new builds right now that will go toward your house, which in you know six months ago they were saying you know no incentives, nothing for you. And now some of them are offering twenty-four or $25,000 uh, as an incentive, which is amazing. Uh, and I'm thinking, you know, moving forward, if you want to go the new construction route, you're probably going to be able to get a good deal on some of these 
because they built so many and they had so many people back out of them because they couldn't afford them with the new interest rates or whatever the case was at the time, uh, that you could probably pick one of these up for a good deal, especially right now and through the end of the year. So if you've contemplated the new construction route, I might uh, really consider that at the moment. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen moving forward with new construction, but that is currently currently where it's at and what I've been seeing. And there's actually quite a bit of new construction houses on the market. I'll put a link below to all the new constructions that are available. I wanna say there's like 40 or 50 of them currently available and some of those are already done and finished that you can move in right away. So that's a luxury we haven't seen in a couple of years. Now, just speaking of that $25,000 credit you could get, you could use part of that, if not all of it, toward a um, interest rate buy down as well. You know, if you were getting that credit from a builder and the interest rates you're worried, if you go look at last week's video, I break down what that means to get a credit for your interest rate or to buy down your interest rate. And in, in these scenarios, you could probably buy it down a full percent or more uh, with that 25 grand. So that would be a, an option for you as well to look at getting that from the builder, which would be awesome for you. All right, guys, that is all I got this week. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. As always, if you've got any questions, uh, you're looking at buying, selling, whatever in the Black Hills, shoot me a uh, text, email, whatever. Uh, got all my info below this video. See you guys.